New on 4K from Severin Films is Bad Biology, released in 2008. And uh, Severin are dropping into the UK now with this available on 4K and Blu-ray. And is from one of my favourite filmmakers, Frank Fullwater, the man behind Basket Case Trilogy, a Brain Damage, Franken Hooker. You kind of should know these names of movies. If you don't, then you've got some homework to do because they are fantastic. If you're a fan of Henry Lauder's films, you're going to have a great deal of fun with Bad Biology. If you're not, I think there's still some fun to be had to you. I'd be perfect for both of you. Not too big, but big enough. I mean, the ladies love it. Yeah, this is a ridiculous film that I found to be incredibly funny. I don't know if it's an intentional intentional comedy, but I laughed myself silly at this one and the plot of it. We are following our main character of Jennifer. Jennifer has a somewhat defect of sorts. She has um, a voracious sexual appetite and there may be something wrong with downstairs, but you know, it kind of drives her every urge and she consumes men, as many as she can get her hands on, uh, having her wicked ways with them, sometimes getting so out of control she accidentally kills them. Uh, and this character, as if things couldn't be strange enough, mere hours after consummating whatever resemblance of relationship they may have had, uh, she squeezes out a mutant baby only to discard. <laughs> That she's moving through life and she is voracious in the way she chases our sexual appetites. And we get these wonderful monologues as she's trying to describe how our life really is and, and, and what she wants to, to achieve with this strange anomaly within herself. Oblivious, completely unaware that a genuine freak of nature sits among them. And that's one of the star-crossed lovers. The other one we've got is Bats, a man who has a mutant penis that seems to almost control him, talk to him. He's often having conversations, obviously trying to control this thing that's threatening to overtake his life. And uh, did I mention that the penis was drug addicted? And he's constantly having to score these strange drugs to keep it satisfied. This movie goes in some strange places. And it's about the combination of these two characters coming together at a certain point, but it's ridiculously over the top, in your face, and overtly sexual. It doesn't hide that fact. Um, if you're squeamish, if you're bashful, it may not be the film for you to check out, but I found the subject matter to be so ridiculous that I took this thing as a comedy and I was laughing out loud at it. And the fact that it comes in 4K and is such a wonderful transfer with a great deal of extras just made it all the more comical for me. I grew to love Charlie Danielson, who was Jennifer at this one. I thought her performance was really good. She has that kind of every girl look about her, but her monologues were something special special and really incredibly hilarious at times. Bats was the more kind of crazy character and that side was more kind of physical comedy. But then it throws in these wonderful effects and it does feel like a low budget movie and it feels as if there's quite a lot of constraints on it at the time. But when it hits the effects, the effects are fantastic and they're shot very well as well to hide a lot of the seams and create the best effect that they possibly can. I thought it was tremendous work. For me, Bad Biology was an absolute riot of a film. I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. It was so out there and wild and different. Remind me a lot of early Henning Lotter's films, which was a great thing for me. Like I said, great deal of extras on this disc. Let's dive in and have a look. Here we are in the disc for Bad Biology. Let's go to the bonus features. We have a commentary with the director, Frank Henenlotter, the DOP, Nick Deeg, and actor, Anthony Sneed. We have an archival commentary with director, Frank Kevin Lothar, producer, R.A. The Rugged Man, Thorburn. 
Spook House is interviews with the cast and the retired detective, which is really kind of fun. It's 30 minutes, 31 seconds. It's really well shot and there is some really nice information in it as well. In the Basement with Charlie Danielson is 3 minutes 40 and it's just the actress talking about getting the role, eh, bouncing a ball about the basement and just kind of hanging out. Deeg and Sneed, a conversation between Nick Deeg and Anthony Sneed. They're two people who worked on the, the, the movie, the DOP and one of the actors. And this goes on for 1 hour, 6 minutes and 52 seconds. It's a great conversation. Uh, they go off in all different kinds of tangents. It, it's just really interesting. Swollen Agenda is an interview with the makeup effects artist. And this runs at 11 minutes, 47 seconds. And of course, they touch on a couple of subjects, but mainly the penises in the film. Beyond the Bad, Behind the Scenes of Bad Biology is exactly what it says. 31 minutes and 46 seconds of just behind the scenes as they are shooting several sequences. This one is 7 minutes 53 seconds and is about the creation of the pictures in the film. It's kind of funny, kind of in your face as well. This is a short film, Suck, which is 11 minutes 59 seconds, which is really fun. Um, it looks really well for... Uh, kind of budget it had, it's a short film, it's twisted, it's out there. I don't want to say anything about it other than check it out. Then we have a music video and an image gallery and that's the extras for Bad Biology. So there we have it, Bad Biology. Um, it comes in 4K as well where you get the film and all the extras. The extras are on the Blu-ray disc as uh, part of this 4K uh, Blu-ray set. I would say if you are a fan of Hen and Water, pick this up. It's ridiculous, it's silly, it's entertaining. I would love to know your thoughts on Bad Biology if you've seen it. So let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, somewhere in the middle. I want to know your opinion because it's not just mine that's out there. Get your opinion across as well. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to the Patreon membership program, manmefilm.com, always, in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.